Well, hello, thank you for joining me today again on the Church History Trail. And we're continuing here in Cumber at St. Mary's Church. And we're going to uh, look at a few more uh, headstones and memorials. And I'm with Desi again. And so, Desi, what do we have here then? Right, this is a, this is a headstone to a man called William Murdoch. And it tells us that he was late an eminent distiller of Cumber who departed this life the 2nd day of November, 1805, aged 85 years. Now, you may have heard of uh, Cumber Whiskey. Old Cumber Whiskey was I think I have. famous. And in Cumber, we had not only one distillery, but two. Yes. Uh, but this man predates those two distilleries. Uh, we can trace the whiskey back to Cumber to at least 1761 to a man called James Patterson but uh, this chap Murdoch um, he actually worked for the the Andrews family for a while at the time when they were involved in the the whiskey business uh -huh. but as I say they got out of it in 1788 so whether Murdoch continued on in his own bat or not I'm not just not sure yes well I'll give them another wee look at the monument then yeah and let them see it that's a pretty substantial monument there's no doubt about it pretty but then I suppose he, he earned a lot of money from from the uh the whiskey <laughs> <laughs> and a lot of other things <laughs> and then there's another uh grave you want to show us as well is there yes i want to show you the grave of uh, guy stone yes uh, if i could just explain that uh, guy stone uh was the, the head of a family who lived at a place called barn hill uh -huh. out the belfast road in cumber yes and during the 1830s uh and later on in the 1850s he kept a diary uh -huh. um, of uh, Cumber. We hear a lot in it about his family, about life in the area, uh, about Cumber, uh, lots of different uh, aspects of life because he was what was called a gentleman farmer uh -huh. and he really got uh, involved in all sorts of things but um, I want to show you his grave because I think it's uh, it's quite interesting uh -huh. there's some sort of a story behind it uh, we're coming up close to it now and this is it Oh, this is it here then? Uh -huh. Very good. Brilliant. The family burying ground of Guy Stone of Barn Hill in close AD 1847. And this is the interesting bit. In consequence of interments being prohibited within the walls of this church, where the family had heretofore buried. Uh -huh. So, um... For some reason or other, the the uh, decision was taken: no more burials inside the church. And Guy Stone seems to have taken this to heart. He's making a, <laughs> he's making a bit of a point on the head. Um, his grandfather had actually been uh, one of the the rectors here. Is that right? Well, yes, and. Uh, his grandfather's brother as well. So uh, inside the church, we'll, uh, we'll see uh, a memorial. Very good. And um, we'll be doing a wee video inside the church, but there's yeah. one more gravestone you want to mention um, before we head into the church, isn't there? Yes, it's just actually beside the, the guy stone. This one here? This one here, erected by James Longridge in memory of his beloved son, William, aged 18 years. And then this is what the happened interesting here? Uh, bit. He was drowned while bathing in Loch Ness oh, right. uh, on the 5th of July, 1884. Um, 
when the Donegal Pass Presbyterian Church Sabbath School Belfast were holding their annual holiday. Yes. So that was a pretty tragic Oh occasion. my goodness. And the drowned then? Yeah. Oh dear. Drowned. That's incredible, isn't it? Yeah. I have actually a friend that lives on the Donegal Road there in Belfast. Yeah. So I know exactly where it is. Uh -huh. My goodness. And what's that say at the bottom then? That's... Longridge. Longridge? Yeah, that's, so the, that's the name. That's, that's the name, name of the family, obviously. Yes. Yes. Well, Desi, that is absolutely fantastic. And I'll, I'll look forward to getting inside. Okay. And thank you for uh, your it's tremendous so wealth of knowledge. And it's great to be able to uh, pick your brain, and mm -hmm. even though it's raining. Uh, but mm -hmm. thank thankfully, we have an umbrella. One other thing I, uh -huh. I can show you before. Yes. Um, I was I was telling you that the, there was once an abbey here. Oh yes, the blocks. Some of these stones here you can see are dressed abbey stones. Yes. So they have actually been reused here. That's incredible. And as I say, they've been reused in various places around. Um, the am area. I right in saying, Desi, that some of the abbey stones was actually used by? the planters to build houses when they come over that's here. That's absolutely right. My yes. goodness, that's incredible, isn't it? Mm -hmm. So some of those blocks could still be in that in the, the village today mm -hmm. oh, yes, as absolutely. part of the buildings. Yes, absolutely. That's yeah. incredible. Well, Desi, thanks very much. Okay. And again, if you enjoy the channel, please like and subscribe. God bless.